Albert Meza. How you doing today, Albert? Good to have you back on the show again today. I've heard most of the security issues with XP have to do with Outlook, Address Book, and Media Player, not with the system itself. Having said that, is a program like XP Lite, which can pare down, uh, bear down the system basically to its bare essentials, be enough to keep XP running safely without the need for updates from Microsoft? Well, here's the thing, Albert Meza. I don't know uh, how confident uh, Windows is, in fact, with their ability to retain the uh, supposed security level of Windows XP for the past two years. They can claim that, yeah, it's no longer supported. We're no longer releasing updates. But to be honest with you, they weren't the main reason Windows XP was vulnerable. And so if you're still using Windows XP... It's an incredibly vulnerable operating system in general because, like, Internet Explorer can only go up to, like, 8, I think it is, on Windows XP. I can't remember. I think it's, like, 8. Uh, but pretty much any piece of software that's been developed for it is semi-obsoleted. Uh, so you're already kind of in a vulnerable state just by using it, even though Windows is releasing updates. Uh, but here's the thing. The, the safest way to use Windows XP, the safest way to use any operating system is to use your... Common sense, okay? The, the best antivirus will be you at the end of the day. And I talk about this time and time again. People always ask me the question, Craig, what's the best antivirus? Well, there's some great free ones. You can look into Avast. I like Avast Home Edition. I recommend it regularly. It is completely free. It is on my website, craigthetechteacher.com forward slash downloads. Um, but I also recommend Malware by its anti-malware. Both of them work fine with Windows XP. Uh, but here's the thing. Windows XP is going to be and continue to be vulnerable. It has been vulnerable, despite the fact that Windows has been releasing updates for it. Just using that kind of legacy software uh, just in general puts you in that kind of situation. Uh, so that being said, obviously, use normal practices. If you are... If you're a heavy internet user, I usually recommend shying away from the older legacy operating systems just in general. Uh, but if you have adequate protection and you know you think before you click on things, you're not a guy who clicks on all the advertising, you're not a guy who opens up random emails, you're in pretty good shape with Windows XP. Uh, my entire office at my shop runs on Windows XP. And I have very few virus problems. Why? Because, well, they're trained not to do certain things. And, yes, they do get infected from time to time, but that happens on any operating system. So, again, the, the best antivirus, Albert, is, of course, you, the user. So if you have some basic understanding of what the potential threats are to your system, you can continue to use XP pretty comfortably without the worry of this future virus not being updated disaster that may happen. Maybe invest in some better antivirus software if you want to. ESET and NOD32 is a good one. Kaspersky is always a good option. Uh, and maybe actually spend money on an antivirus if you're going to continue to use XP. Uh, but you may want to consider migrating to Windows 7 or 8 uh, coming up in the future. Eventually you are going to have to make it, and unfortunately... Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, it it uh, it's gonna have to happen. I, I I'm a huge fan of Windows XP, so welcome welcome to the stressful world of having to migrate. Uh, but hey, if you're gonna migrate, have you considered looking at your Chromebook? Uh, I posted about that today. I I like the Chromebook. It's not for everybody, mind you. I do have a video on my uh on my video on my CraigTheTechTeacher.com website. It's called Apple versus Android versus Tablets. And uh, you'll want to check that one out. It's also on my YouTube channel. And uh, I do a great in-depth analysis of the differences between just using a PC laptop, using a tablet, or using a uh, Chromebook. The Chromebook test. I think you all know, know all about it, Albert Meza. Excellent question. You can keep using XP semi-comfortably. And XP Lite, which you asked about specifically, is a great system. Just make sure you're using a up-to-date browser. Uh, don't use Internet Explorer. Uh, obviously, don't use Outlook anyway. Don't use Address Book anyway, and don't use Media Player anyway. 